Hello, welcome back to Mechanical Engineering Design. Now in this video we are going to look at a title block. A title block is an important part that contains essential details of a technical drawing. And what are the essential details? One, it contains a project title. Two, a scale. It also contains date of the drawing. It contains drafter's name, approver's name, company name and or logo, sheet number and number of sheets contained by the drawing it also includes notes now what's the importance of a title block so a title block aids in identification of a drawing purpose and origin it helps in traceability a record of provisions approvals and changes that have been made since the drawing was initiated it helps in standardization consistency across multiple drawings in a project that title block also helps in communication amongst engineers, fabricators, and stakeholders. A title block also serves as a legal and official document for reference during audits, disputes, or future modifications. What are the qualities of a good title block? So a title block would have information well organized and easy to read. It should include all the essential information above. A good title block should also be easy to modify to accommodate updates such as revision and notes. It should also be visually appealing and balanced with no misalignment. A title block is always located at the bottom right of the drawing. Take note that a well drafted title block ensures the drawing is professional, traceable, and easy to understand, supporting effective communication and collaboration in engineering and design projects. Now we are going to look at how to create a title block using a design software SOLIDWORKS. Now open SOLIDWORKS and go to drawing. On drawing, untick only show standard formats. Go to custom sheet size. Now we are going to use an A3 paper size. So the dimensions are 420 mm in width and height of 297. Click OK. Here, right click and go to edit sheet format go to normal sketch and pick corner rectangle and sketch we are going to give our dimension width 420 height 297 now click on the bottom left corner on your left hand side of pops a window we are going to enter our values zero enter on x and then zero on y enter click ok now go to offset entities offset distance 10 mm click ok now select corner rectangle also pick a corner rectangle two of them pick line go to smart dimension spacing will give 10 mm Horizontal spacing, 30. So 30 mm. Overall length is 150. Now when you are done, you can delete the dimensions. Go to notation. Pick note. We are going to add notes, but we don't want leader lines. So click no leader lines. On the first text box, we are going to we are going to use Times New Roman. Font 16. 
Now, the first one is units designed by. The third, checked. Checked by. The fourth is material used in the drawing. Fifth is scale. The right shall add organization and logo. Below it, we shall add title of the drawing. And below it, can have notes. You can use a lower font, say nine. You can say unless otherwise stated, all units are in millimeters. So units, you can add notes. Say MM designed by. You can call engineering design and checked by mechanical engineering design team stainless steel. can always play around these lines drag it forward or back to edit and here you go go to insert picture where is your logo exit now see when you want to edit, just double click, look at this, delete, here is your title block. Everything is included. For us to save, go to save us then select drawing templates 